you now rockin' with the best. Hey, Fort Ben tutoring, Fort Ben tutoring, Fort Ben tutoring. This is Lenicia, and you are about to view my dad, Mr. Witt, and Fort Ben tutoring, where personalized math tutoring is the solution. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's lesson we'll be talking about dividing large numbers, dividing big numbers and this was a request by Rosie Mata. What's up Rosie? How you doing girl? Appreciate that request. So here you go ladies and gentlemen. So dividing large numbers, there's going to be two preferred methods that I'm going to showcase today, ladies and gentlemen, and that is one, estimating and rounding, all right, that divisor, that first number that's going to be on the outside of the long division symbol, and also comparing the first digit to the first two digits of the dividend, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to implement those two different ways to deal with large numbers. At least that's the way I do it, okay? And that's what you asked. You asked how I do it, so I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? So this is going to be dividing large numbers. Let's check it out. In problem number one, I have 448 divided by 14. So first of all, let's set this up as a long division problem. So here, I'm going to write this as 14 going into 448. That's the first thing I do. Then, ladies and gentlemen, I will implement one or both of the methods that I just said. For instance, if I look at the number 14 and I look at the first two digits of the dividend here, that 448, notice that 14 and 44 is close to 15 and 45. Right, so therefore I'm gonna estimate and say, okay, well this 14 is close to the number 15 that I'm used to, and I know that 15 will go into 45 three times, so therefore it's a safe bet to see if 14 times three will get me close to that value of 44. We already know that 14 won't be able to go into four, so the next thing we need to see is if 14 will go into 44, ladies and gentlemen. So let's find out what that'll give us. So here I'll have 14, times three, three times four is 12. I'm gonna carry my one here. Three times one is three plus one gives me 42. So that means I'm gonna place a three above the 44. Three times 14 is 42. Then after that, you'll need to change that sign, in other words, subtract. So 44 minus 42 gives me a two. Then I bring down that next digit. And remember, every time I bring a number down, I must place a number up top above that division symbol. So now I'm looking at 14 going into 28. Well, I know that 14 times two is 28. So there I have my result, ladies and gentlemen. So two times 14 is 28. And then I subtract and that zeros out. And this is gonna be my answer right here, ladies and gentlemen, that 32 gives me my result. So once again, I look to see if I can estimate, meaning that I can use numbers that I'm used to. I knew that 14 I was uncomfortable with, but I did know that 14 was close to 15, and I know that 15 times 3 is 45, so that way I was able to work through the problem, and I had an idea of how many times I needed to multiply 14 in order to get that 44 value and then go from there. All right, so that's problem number one. Let's check out the next one. Okay, so here, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be getting increasingly larger and larger. So here I have 8,288 divided by 74. When I have this set up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna once again bring down this 74, set up my long division with the 8,288 inside, okay? And I know that 74 is too big for that eight, so the 74 we know, ladies and gentlemen, because that number is close to 82, will only go into 82 one time. So this one is pretty safe. I can say one time 74 is 74 and feel comfortable with that amount. Let's go ahead and subtract. I'll bring down this 12 minus 4, which is 8, and therefore I'll end up with another number. So I bring down that 8, and remember, ladies and gentlemen, every time you bring a number down, you place a number up. So 74, that goes into 88 one time again. So here we go. I have 1 times 74 is 74. Subtract, bring down a 4, bring down a 1. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be bringing down this next number, this number 8 right here. Okay. Notice how 74, ladies and gentlemen, is similar to the 148 in the fact that if I were to multiply 7 times 2, that gives me 14. And notice how 4 times 2 is also 8, so it looks like this is going to go in there evenly 
two times. So once again, I'm making a lot of comparisons when I compare these numbers. Either I'm going to estimate, I'm going to round, or I'm going to compare the first number with the first two numbers I'm trying to go into. In this case, I noticed that 7 times 2 will give me the 14, which is the first two digits in this three-digit number here. So 2 times 74 turns out to give me exactly what I need, which is that 148. All right, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Since it terminates, meaning that it ends in zero, I know that my result here is going to be 112. 112, ladies and gentlemen. So let's look at the next problem. Problem number three, we have 21,896 divided by 28. So we'll set up our long division as 28 going into 21,896. I know that this 28 is too big to go into 2. It's way too big to go into 21. So we'll see if 28 will go into 218. But I'm not that familiar with the multiples of 28, ladies and gentlemen. So what I can do in this case, I'll choose the method of rounding this answer up. So 28 is close to 30. And I do know that 30, that 3, will be able to go into 218 7 times. Why? Because 3 times 7 is 21. So that's how I use it. So knowing that 28 is close to 30, and that first digit in 30 is 3, 3 times 7 gives me 21. So that gives me an idea what I should try. So let's see what 28 times 7 will give us. So we'll have 28 times 7. This gives me 56. I carry the 5. That's 14 plus 5 gives me 196. So 196 is what I get, which is pretty close to that 218. But if you're not sure if another 28 is what you need, you can always verify that by adding 28 to that result. So let's add 28 here. Let's see what happens. I end up with 14. I carry the 1. That'll give me a 12. So I end up with 224, which is too big for that 218 that I'm going for now. So we'll multiply by 7. We'll say that 7 goes on top of our division symbol because 7 times 28 is 196. And that's what we have thus far. Let's go ahead and subtract. I'll bring down my 2. Let's go ahead and borrow. 11 minus 9 is always 2. And now I'm bringing down a 9. It just so happens, ladies and gentlemen, that we just found out that after adding 28 to 196, in other words, the result of 28 times 8, that'll give us 224. So I'm going to use 8 for the next digit on top. 8 times 28, ladies and gentlemen, is 224. Then I'll subtract. I'll bring down the 5. And remember, I'm bringing down this next number. Every time we bring down a number, a number must go on top. And 28, ladies and gentlemen, times 2 will give me 56. So I'm going to put a 2 right there. That's going to terminate this, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that it ends in 0. It means it terminates. And that means we have our result. Done. That's it. So who figured that one out? I know I didn't know that up front. 28 goes into 21,896, 782 times, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, how to divide large numbers. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens next in our next problem. And this next problem, ladies and gentlemen, the numbers are getting bigger and bigger. We have 30,408 divided by 42. Let's see what happens with that. So here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start by saying in my long division format that 42 is the divisor of the dividend 30,408. Well, 42 is much too big for 30 and 3, so that means I'll be trying to go into 304, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to simply compare this first digit, that 4, ladies and gentlemen, into that 30. How many times can I get 4 to go into 30? Well, in that case, that would be 7 times because 4 times 7 is 28. So that being the case, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what happens when I multiply 42 times 7, and let's see what that gives me. 2 times 7 is 14. I'll carry the 1. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 1 gives me 29. So that gives me 294. That number is really close to 304, so that's a safe bet. Let's go ahead and use 7. So 7 times 42 gives me 294. I'll then subtract. I'll bring down a 0. This will be a 1 and another 0. And 4 will go into 10 twice. So here I have that. 2 times 42 is 84. I'll subtract from there, ladies and gentlemen. I now will borrow 
I'll give me a nine, I'll give me a 10, so I bring down a six and a one. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll bring down that last number eight and notice that I have something to compare. I know that four will go evenly into 16 four times, ladies and gentlemen, and it just so happens that two times four is eight, so that's perfect. So let's use a four here. Four times 42, that gives me 168. That means that this terminates it ends in zero, and that means that I have found my solution, which is 724, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. So knocking down those big numbers, ladies and gentlemen, using the process of estimating, rounding, and comparing the first digit to the first two digits of your dividend there. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, that we have discussed this thoroughly, okay? And like I said, you can use that same process when dealing with even bigger numbers. So estimate, round, compare the first number to the first two digits, and that'll give you a good idea of what to choose when dividing those very big numbers, those large numbers, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks again, Rosie Mata. We appreciate you requesting this video. All right, hope it helps. And thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring. Take care. And once again, if you would like to get in on our intros and outros, send your video files and audio files to fbt at tutormemath.net. Peace. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Visit our website at www.tutormemath.net. You now rocking with Mr. Wit, a little flavor from Q Beats. You know that this a hit. Michael Jackson bad. Yeah, this is it.